Hi everyone, welcome to the Laser Channel where we learn, create, and share. My name is Greg, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing the maintenance on the Onyx Laser Machine by Monport. I'm going to start with simple and basic items and then very quickly move on to more performance impacting maintenance items. Before we begin, I suggest cutting several wooden squares for the last step in the maintenance when we check the mirror alignment. I've made several 25 by 25 millimeter squares and several 25 by 60 rectangles. I'm going to start out with something pretty straightforward and basic, and that's wiping down and cleaning the exterior of the machine. I am going to spin the machine around so that you can see the back of it because there are two things that I check and clean. Once I make my way around to the back of the machine, I'm going to go to the beam attenuator dial. I'm going to just double check that this is turned all the way clockwise because it's not like the neighbor's kid ever came over and turned this down just a little bit. The last thing I'm going to clean on the outside of the machine is the exhaust fan. I want to clean this entire port. I also have easy access to the front side and the back side of the fan blades. To clean that smoke and smoke residue off, I turn to LA's Totally Awesome. This stuff does a great job of cleaning up smoke and smoke residue. I clean just one or two of the fan blades and this is how much debris it already picked up. Before I start cleaning the inside of the machine, I'm also going to clean the inline exhaust fan that comes with the Onyx machine. I'll have easy access to the fan blades by removing the cone ends to either side of the exhaust fan. Those are held in place with a band clamp to each side and are easily removed with just one screw. The exterior is all wiped down and clean, and now it's time to move to the inside of the machine. I am going to start by removing the crumb tray. There's oftentimes going to be a lot of smoke residue that is found on the bottom here, and as you've guessed it, I'm going to use LA's Totally Awesome for that. Next, I'll remove the honeycomb tray from the machine, and because this is removed from the machine, this is one of the few components I'm going to directly spray the cleaner on it. I do that because this is usually so caked up with smoke residue within all the cells of the honeycomb. And this is often overlooked, but if I get too much smoke residue built up on this tray, this tray can actually start a fire within the laser machine. Cleaning the inside of the machine is gonna be straightforward again. I'll use the window cleaner on parts where it makes sense to. And if I have some stubborn spots, that's most likely going to be smoke residue. I'll use LA's Totally Awesome. One of the things I do wanna check and clean is going to be the laser tube that is underneath this guard. To get access to that, I'll have to first remove the small guard. There's a little screw behind there, but there'll be a screw right here on that side, and then two more on the back side. And I'm going to be using the tools that are included with the Onyx machine to get access to the laser tube. Keeping the laser tube dust free is very important. When the laser tube is firing, there's a high voltage that runs through the center of the laser tube. However, when we have too much dust buildup on the outside, we're gonna find that that high voltage is gonna to wanna to travel on the outside of the laser tube, and this is going to wreck the laser tube, and it may also damage the high voltage power supply running the laser tube. Next, I'm going to clean the linear rails on the machine to keep that laser head moving around silky smooth. To clean the old grease off the linear rails, I'm going to use denatured alcohol. And when I apply new grease, I read the manual for the Onyx machine and they recommend a white lithium grease. With some alcohol on a paper towel, I'm now ready to clean the linear rails. There's one on the front here and then there's one to either side. This one here might be a little bit out of frame. On these linear rails, there's going to be a groove that's on the side or on this one, it's gonna be on the top and the bottom. And that is the track that the ball bearings ride on when the laser head or this trolley is moving back and forth. And that's mainly the area that we wanna clean. So I wanna make sure that when I run my fingers up and down this, 
I'm getting that paper towel and that cleaner down into that groove. I'll do that for the top and the bottom, and I'll also clean across the front. I want to get behind the laser head. I'll move that over just a little bit. While these rails look clean when I started, we can see that it's picking up quite a bit of debris. I'll repeat the same process for the side rails. Here's the groove in the linear rail. This is going to be the groove that the ball bearings travel in, and this is going to be the groove where I want to put most of that white lithium grease. We'll also see that I apply a very thin film of that white lithium grease across all faces of the linear rail. That way it will prevent rust. I'm going to do this for all three linear rails. I need to get just a little bit of that grease into that groove. That looks good. And then here's that thin film that I'm putting on. And I'll get the bottom side as well. My first rail is cleaned and greased. This is what it looks like. Just a little bit of grease is needed. A little bit of grease goes a long way. To finish up, the last thing I'm going to add grease to is the lead screw for setting the focus of the laser machine. And I'll use just a little dab of that white lithium grease, a little bit on the bottom, a little bit on the top. And I can turn this screw by hand and get all of that grease mixed up where it needs to go. With all the grease cleaned off from that previous step, I'm ready to move on to the next item, and that is to check out the belts on the machine. I do this step next because the belts are right next to the linear rails that we just cleaned and greased. Here I'm checking out the left side of the belt. There's gonna be another belt on the right side of the machine. That's gonna be just the same. When I check the tension, I'm just placing my finger with a little bit of force. I'm just looking for a little bit of spring or rebound from the belt. I found on the Onyx machine that the belt tension is set correctly. I'm also going to move the gantry back and forth. This way I can check all parts of the belt for any cracks or missing teeth. Let's check out the belt that shuttles the laser head back and forth. That belt is going to be located underneath right here. I check this belt a little bit more often because it sees a little bit more wear and tear versus the belts that are on the left and right hand side of the machine. I'm looking at the belt on the right side of the machine. After I check this belt, I like to look a little bit further inside the machine and check the coolant level. To check this, I like to just wiggle the machine a little bit and I'll get that water level moving around inside. I like to keep my level about a half to a quarter inch from the top. I find if I need to add any coolant, distilled water works perfectly. The Onyx machine has three optic elements that I'm going to be cleaning. And those are going to be the pass-through mirror that's located underneath the side guard. And then the other two optics that are underneath the guard for the laser head is going to be the mirror number three. And then finally, the focus lens. The cleaning regimen for all three lens elements is going to be identical. I'll demonstrate what it looks like on the focus lens. I'll demonstrate how to remove the focus lens assembly, starting by removing the air assist airline, the fitting that the airline was plugged into. Little tip, when you reinstall this fitting, it doesn't have to be super, super tight. Remember, the air assist nozzle on here has a great big hole in it to let all the air out. Once that fitting is removed, there is a, a ring underneath here that I need to unscrew a little bit. And it looks like this. I'll set that off to the side. And I'll see that I can't remove the focus assembly yet. For that, I can manually grab the threaded rod here for the focus motor, and I can turn that. I'll also know that I'm getting grease all over my fingers, so before I start working with that lens, I'll need to clean my hand off. Once I've got a good distance between the focus lens and mirror number three, I can easily remove this out. I'll unscrew the nozzle. When I clean the focus lens, I'm going to clean this surface. I'm also going to clean the inside surface as well. I have one of the foam swabs that is included with the machine treated with 100% alcohol. Using a circular motion, I'll clean the lens. 
Once I'm happy with the results, I'm going to let that lens dry completely. I'm going to make sure that there's no marks on the lens or any drying streaks left behind. If I have any drying streaks, I find that with a damp lens tissue paper with 100% alcohol, that too will also do a very good job of cleaning the lens. I have the top surface cleaned, and I'm going to flip this assembly over, and I'm going to clean the inside as well. Once this is all complete, I'll hold it up to a light, making sure that there's absolutely no debris on this lens and it's free of any drying streaks. From here, it's just a matter of reversing all the steps and putting everything all back together. The foam brush that I used, I treat this as a one-time use. I'll still hang on to this, I'll just use it in the future when cleaning hard to get places on the Onyx machine. Next, we're going to check the mirror alignment on the Onyx laser machine. For this, I'm gonna refer back to the very beginning of the video when I talked about making some wooden square cutouts. I have this 25 millimeter square that I'm going to tape over the opening on the laser head module. I have the first one already taped in place and it looks something like this. Anytime we check the mirror alignment, we're going to do two test dots that we're going to look for on that piece of wood. We're gonna have one test dot as close to the laser source as possible and then the other dot as far away as possible. To show you what I mean, we're gonna go in light burn and I'll show you how I have this set up. On the Onyx laser machine, I don't know of a good way to test fire the laser tube so that I can have a mark on that target on the near end and on the far end. So instead, I've got a workaround that I came up with in Lightburn software. Let's check that out. What I have on the screen, and maybe you can see it by my mouse cursor, I have a tiny little line when I highlight it. We're gonna see that it's only three millimeters in length. I've got another matching one over in this corner. And what this is going to do is essentially these lines that it's going to be engraving, it's going to make a dot and it's gonna have one on the near end and the far end because within the workspace, I've got them spread out nearly as far as I can. And to make sure that they remain on the same axis that the laser is only traversing from near to far, I am going to highlight both of these test lines and I'm going to align them to the center. That way it's got the perfect alignment. The settings that I'm using, all I need to do is just mark the wood. I actually don't want to burn all the way through that wood. This all looks good and I can power up the machine and I will run this. That turned out great and we'll take a look. This looks perfect. The two dots line up perfectly with one another. I'm now ready to do the second alignment check. The first alignment check looks perfect. It checked all the mirror alignments going up to, but not including mirror number three. Next, I'm going to check the mirror alignment of mirror number three going through the focusing lens. For this, I'm going to move the guard off of the laser head. I'm going to be most interested with the opening in the bottom of the guard. I'm going to be taking a 25 millimeter square and placing that right next to the opening. On top of that square, I will be placing a 25 by 60 millimeter rectangle. I'm going to get these taped in place and show you what that looks like. We'll see that I've got a nice space between the guard and that 25 by 60 millimeter piece of wood. This looks good. I'm ready to toss it back into the machine. And light burn, there's nothing I need to change. I can simply hit the start button once again. This looks absolutely perfect. I have the near and the far marks are perfectly on top of one another. If they were off a little bit, what I'd see is an elongated line. This looks excellent and there's nothing else for me to do. These are the main areas that I check for maintenance on my Onyx laser machine. The frequency in which I do this depends largely with the materials that I use and the amount of time that I spend with my machine. Thanks for joining me in today's video. I hope that you find it very useful. Please consider giving this video a like, subscribe to the channel, or ring that notification bell. This is a great way to help the laser channel grow. It's also a great way to connect content like this with other like-minded viewers just like you. Until next time, 
learn, create, and share.